Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and a quick video on Maze Plus and the two quick updates that we have had. Um, so first one was the update that released yesterday on Monday the 26th and that fixed a whole load of the bugs that you guys reported through the Maze Plus Discord. Um, I'm only going to pick up on a few of the bits from the change log. So there were some issues with the occlusions on the Doika silos and some of the fill types, and that's all been sorted. Um, we have added the ability to multi-buy the carrot potato and empty pallets and the maze plus ibcs and um, we fixed some of the collisions and triggers with the ibcs and they are sellable now as well as the empty pallet boxes you may find that some of i'm hearing reports that some of your ibcs may have vanished i think that's because to help with auto load some of the paths have been changed and that may mean that they have vanished just use easy dev tools or something to get them back not the end of the world the same with some of the bail types as well just to help them work with auto load they've been renamed um, so again you may have lost some bales if you did then just get them back with easy dev controls um, we have added some translations so dutch hungarian and czech translations have been added in and we've done some things with the l10 l10n text and some of the fill types uh, the L10 NTEX stuff, so if you're not sure what that is, um, if you had early on some of the mod conflicts and these names got all screwed up, that was an L10 N conflict. They have been fixed, and so mods like ProShot, which I'm showing off here, now work. I have not checked the rest of them, but uh, I assume they do. If you have any issues, go to the Maze Plus Discord. Um, we have also adjusted the usage rate of Loot Brazil from the embarrassingly tiny amount that it was to a realistic amount, and then... Uh, the alert amongst you will have seen today that um, a hotfix was released, which is version 1.0.2, which is to do with BGAs and productions. And I just happen to have a really nice BGA over here. Um, and it's working its way through some maize silage, and you can see that it is producing electric charge, methane, and digestate. Um, this update also means that the modular BGA works, which is really cool. Uh, so that's all the kind of change loggy stuff. Let's have a chat about some of the other things that have changed. All of the feeding for the animals has been aligned between Maze Plus and the Animal Food Additions in terms of the feed types and the mixtures. Um, so the things that go in the feed trough or in your TMR are the same now and the ratios that those are eaten in are the same now. So whether you have just maize plus or whether you have the animal food additions and uh, let's look at cows for example, cows will now eat 40% silage, 30% hay. Uh, or the rough age group, 20% moisture food and 10% power food, rather than it being split equally, um, it's now split in a more realistic weighting. Um, if you don't add in the animal food additions, then the feeding doesn't get crazy. If you add the animal food additions in, then you get the uh, crazy realistic feeding, but equally rivers of milk. Um, in terms of the other things that have changed, that's really around the, the feed mixtures that you can buy in the store. So and getting those working the way it's intended. So for pig food, for example, the base game pig food will now fill sliders two and three, and the doika pig food will fill sliders one and four. And then for all the other um, maize plus animal feed that you can buy, they will fill sliders one, three, and four to varying amounts. If you updated the fill types XML using the file that I uploaded on to the Maze Plus Discord and to my Discord, you will need to go and get the new version of that that is on the Maze Plus Discord. The fill types.xml file was changed as part of the update. So if you just use the old one that you may have downloaded from elsewhere, it is wrong. It will cause some things to break. So if you uh, if you used that file that, uh, that I created and now one of the other Discord members has updated for us um, to use the newest version, you will need to get that off of the Maze Plus Discord and add that in again. And that fixes all of the sell prices for you. And I think that's it. Um, 
So remember, if you haven't already, go in to the Mod Hub in your game and rate Maze Plus and the Animal Food Editions five stars. I want to say thank you to the uh, the guys in the background who helped do these updates, particularly the Productions one, because that was pretty painful, I think. Um, I just saw a stream of German running past me on the screen. Um, yeah, really appreciate you guys jumping in and helping make uh, make some of these changes to make this work. I do not have pumps and hoses yet. I do not know how Maze Plus interacts with pumps and hoses. I know that you need the latest version of Maze Plus for it to work. Um, there was some testing done over the weekend. And if you're running the latest version of Maze Plus, you should have some success. I think there are some issues with how it interacts with some of the BGAs. And that will be a future update for Maze Plus and or pumps and hoses. Um, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please click the like button. If you uh, have questions or comments or need support on Maze Plus, please go and use the Maze Plus Discord. There is a link below. I cannot provide Maze Plus support in the comments to these videos to the level of detail that is needed. Um, if you do have a support question for Maze Plus, use the Maze Plus Discord. As I just said, post your problem, description of your problem, your log file and pictures if you have them. Otherwise, we can't really help. Um, and if you're not ready, subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out. Uh, yeah, I will catch you next time.